Hello there. Welcome to the technical analysis uh, daily stock video today. Uh, I'm going to take a look at Cisco stock, um, symbol CSCO. Today is November the 6th, 2019. And here's a one year chart for Cisco. Um, you can see we've come off of the highs. We were uh, testing that $58 level and couldn't pass it up back in July and came on down, fell on through, and we're currently down at the uh, you know, $48.27 uh, price range. Let's take a look at the moving averages on this one year. You can see our green line is, the, is our fast uh, moving average, that's the 10 day. It's actually higher right now than the 20 day, so I consider that um, sort of a lack of a single signal. Um, better said the moving averages are consolidating and we'll see how this all plays out this of course is the five-year uh, chart I like to uh, get a bigger view you know it's easier it's easy to sometimes miss the forest for the trees and so taking a look at another time frame is my attempt to see the actual forest and this chart absolutely looks a lot different than the last one um, because it gives us a better sense of where we've been and where we currently are, relatively speaking. Now, when you add in the moving averages here, even though they appear to consolidate um, at the moment, when you look at uh, up in the upper left-hand corner, when you look at the actual uh, prices, they, all, they actually are all in line. The 10-week moving average is less than the 20-week moving average, which is less than the 50-week, which means that on the five year, this is actually giving us more of a bearish signal. Um, but given that the uh, that the one year didn't really support a uh, bullish or bearish signal, I'm not going to put a lot of stock in it just yet. Now, uh, in looking at the Fibonacci analysis, I'm really judging or calculating it based on this upward move. And I went ahead and took the move from late December 2018 all the way to this high that we achieved back in July of, uh, of this year of 2019 and as you can see uh, we have actually gone lower than the 61.8 uh, percent retracement level of that last trend and we're kind of hovering uh, currently between that and the 50 percent so the the 50 percent is forty nine dollars twenty cents the 61.8 is forty seven dollars and eight cents and here we are right in between at $48.27. So um, this, uh, the fact that we've already reached these levels lets me know that, um, you know, market achieved those levels. Uh, I'm not certain that we're going to get a full retracement. In fact, we could very well uh, start to head higher. Uh, but it, what will be more valuable is looking at the uh, support and resistance here uh, in a couple more slides. Now, this is the MACD. And the MACD is our first sort of indicator that this could actually be a bullish trend. I, I like the fact that in mid October, we had a crossover of the, um, we had a crossover in the oversold um, area below the zero line on the MACD. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm looking at this area in the lower right hand corner of the chart so that cross below the zero line is a bullish indicator uh, it doesn't mean we're going all the way back up top but it does mean that the momentum right now seems to be building on the bullish side of the equation versus versus um, bearish and wanted to take a look at the um, the way some of these uh, support and resistance levels line up too so here at $46, you can see with this blue line, we've had quite a few bounces already, so there seems to be clear support there. Um, next up, I looked at this, um, what would that be? Probably like a 48.75 range. You can see that it was significant back in December of 2018, and then uh, again, uh, played a role uh, possibly in August and September. And so um, really, I think if we can get above that, uh, above this sort of level, maybe even um, on up to $49 a share, we've got a good chance of this uh, stock pushing higher. So 
So a summary of Cisco stock. Uh, you know, we've seen the stock pull back from its highs from last June, June of 2019. Um, prior to that, it was a pretty bullish year. Um, looking at the one-year moving average, it seems to be consolidating. Uh, but when you look at the five-year, the five-year moving averages are all in line for more of a move down, a bearish move. So between the two, I don't feel like it's really given me a strong signal um, either way. Uh, the Fibonacci analysis shows that we've already reached that 61.8% retracement level. Right now we're between the 50% and 61.8% retracement of the last move. Uh, so that to me lets me know that the Fibonacci is sort of um, is, is less valuable because some of the significant uh, retracement levels have already been reached and we might actually be moving uh, you know higher again and of course I already mentioned that the MACD uh, was bullish seeing that cross below the zero line and seeing the uh, the exponential moving averages and the MACD moving higher uh, is definitely a bullish indication so overall I think the stock has some support uh, at the $46 level if we can push higher than $49 per share we have a really good shot of, of, of going ahead and reaching up higher to that $52 per share uh, price range so uh, that means overall I am cautiously bullish on Cisco stock that is it for today hope you guys are having a great week happy trading